morning children today we are going to see about the topic advent of the europeans advent of the europeans arrived of the european peoples in our country in this topic we have learned about something what is this the first one is to know about the kinds of sources of modern india the second one is to understand the portuguese trade interest in india and another thing to know the colonial settlement of denmark Many of the foreign travelers, traders, missionaries and civil servants who came to India in 18th and 19th centuries have left account of their experiences and their impressions of various parts of the country. Sources of modern India. What are the ways we know about the modern India? Before, what is the sources? The sources for the history of modern India help us to know the political and socio-economic cultural developments in country. Well preserved records are very valuable to know about their relations in India. And the next, what are the kinds of sources? We divide it into the two kinds of sources. The first one is the written sources and the second one is the material sources. First one is written sources. First is written sources. The wealth of India attracted the Europeans to this country. Ananda Rangam is a name to conjure within the annals of Tamil history. He was a translator. He recorded the events that took place in French India. His diaries contain the daily events from 1736 to 1760. Arches, this is the place where historical documents are preserved. The National Arches of India is located in New Delhi. It is the chief storehouse of records of the government of India. It, it is one of the largest arches of India. George William Forrest can rightly be called as the father of National Arches of India. And the next one is Tamil Nadu Arches. The Madras Record Office, presently known as Tamil Nadu Arches, is located in Chennai. The collections include the series of administrative records in Touch, Tanis and Marathi. Tamil Nadu Arches has 1642 volumes. The next one is Material Sources. Material sources means many paintings and statues are the main sources of modern Indian history. They give us a lot of information on the achievements of national leaders and historical personalities. For example, India Gate, Parliament House, President House in New Delhi, etc. are the different styles of techniques of Indian architecture. Coins are a good sources to know about the administrative history. The first coinage in modern India under the crown was issued in 1862. The Reserve Bank of India was formally set up in 1935 and was empowered to issue government to India notes. And the next topic we are going to see about the advent of the Europeans. After the capture of Constantinople by the Turkish in 1453, the land route between India and Europe was closed. The, the Portugal peoples. Amongst the entire European nations, Portugal was the foremost to make a dynamic attempt to discover a sea route to India. This is, this is a European trade center. Okay, the green color mocked that is a Portuguese settlement. For example, German, Pazin. The next, the red color is French settlements. Mahi, Karaikal, Pondicherry and the next pink color is mentioned as the touch settlements for the Nagapatinam and the next black color is Tanis settlements where there yes the only one transfer and the next blue color is mentioned into the English settlements for Madras Bombay, this is all the things. These places are European trade centers. The first one, the important person Vasco da Kama. 
த வாஸ்கோட காமா அனதர் போர்டிகிஸ் சைடில் ரீச்சுடு த சவுத் அண்ட் மோஸ்ட் பாயிண்ட் ஆஃப் ஆஃப்ரிக்கா அண்ட் ஹி கண்டினியூ ஹிஸ் ஜேர்னி டு மொசாம்பிக்யூ ஃப்ரம் வேர் ஹி சைலிடு டு இந்தியா வித் த ஹெல்ப் ஆஃப் தன் இந்தியன் பைலட் இன் ஃபோர்டீன் நைன்டி எயிட் ஹி ரீச்சுடு கேலிகட் வேர் ஹி வாஸ் கார்டியலி ரிசர்வ்டு பை கிங் ஜமோரேன் த ரூலர் ஆஃப் கர்லிகட் Vasco Kama came to India for the second time in 1501 with 20 ships and founded a trading centers at Kannur one after another they established factories at Calicut and Cochin King Zamorin attacked the Portuguese in Cochin but he, but he was defeated the next another one important person is Francisco de Almeida In 1505, Francisco de Almeida was sent as the first governor for the Portuguese possession in India. Almeida has the aim of developing the naval power of the Portuguese in India. His policy was known as the Blue Water Policy. Another one important person, Alfonso de Albuquerque, the real founder of the Portuguese power in India. was Alfonso de Albuquerque. He captured Goa from the Sultan of Bijapur in November 1510. The next one of the important group of people, the Dutch peoples. The Dutch followed the Portuguese into India in 1602. The United East India Company of Netherlands was formed at it, received the sanction of their government to trade in East India. After their arrival in India, the Dutch founded their first factory in Andhra Pradesh in 1605. The most important Indian commodities traded by the Dutch were silk, cotton, indigo and rice. The next one is Dutch in Tamil Nadu. The Portuguese who established their control over Pulikat since 1502 were overthrown by the Dutch. In Pulika, the Dutch built the Fort Gildria in 1630. This fort was once the seat of Dutch power. The Dutch established their settlement at Pulika in 1610. Diamonds were exported from Pulika to the western country. The next day, we are going to see about the, the British people. On 31 December 1600, the Elizabeth, Queen of England, granted a charter to the governor and company of merchants of London to trade with the East Indias. The company was headed by a governor and a court of 24 directors. On the ghost line of Bay of Bengal, the English established their first factory in 611 at Musuli Patnam, an important fort in the territory of the Kingdom of Golconda. The next is the Danish paper. On March 17, 616, King of Denmark Christian issued a charter and created a Tannis East India Company. Next, we are going to see about the, the French people. The French East India Company was formed in 664 by Coltred, a minister of King Louis. France was the last European country to come to India as traders. The French East India Company established factories in different parts of India, particularly in the coastal regions such as Mohi, Karikal. These were a few important trading centers of the French East India Company. Okay, what are the things we just learned about in this topic? Let's be recall. Okay, the first one is Ananda Rangam is a name to conjure with the honors of Tamil history. And the second one, the Madras Record Office, known as Tamil Nadu Arches, located in Chennai. The next, the Blue Water Policy, was followed by Almeida. And another one, French East India Company, was formed in 1664 by Corporate. Okay children, now we recall all the things. Next, we see about the another topic in next class. Okay, thank you.